There it is, my carry round. Old school, but it works. Back in the day, this is what cops nicknamed the king of the street. The 125 grain semi-jacketed hollow point, 357 Magnum, whether it's the Remington or the Federal, which I think I have one over here. See the differences between the two. The Federal on the left, the Remington on the right has a scalloped semi-jacketed, and this one looks more traditional, but uh, I think this one actually opens up a little bit more violently. Both of them have pretty much the same ballistics. They're running 1450 to 1500 feet per second out of a four inch. Um, but back in the day, this was the king of the street, the number one one-shot showstoppers. It's my carry round, and it's a badass fucking round. You just gotta handle the recoil and the, the muzzle flip and the muzzle flash. Um, but I love it, and you can find it at Walmart. It's a semi-jacketed hollow point, so we'll put the Federal away, do that another day. I'm gonna show you all what this can do out of a four inch 686. All right, and the test medium, seven yards away, is gonna be that four layers of denim. All right, and about four water jugs. I'm hoping it doesn't over penetrate, but I've never had it go further than 18 inches. All right, so I'm gonna set this camera up and we'll see what it can do. All right, setting this camera up so we can see. Dropping this bad boy in. All right, here we go. Wow, devastating. Take a look. Devastatingly effective. All right, you can see that last jug is moving quite a bit, and it's not because the bullet went through there, it's just the percussion of that round. So, you can see, went through the four layers of denim, opened up really quickly on the first jug. Second jug is just completely destroyed. A lot of jacket separation here, and then inside of this jug. I presume is our projectile. I'm gonna pause the video. Once again, that's a perfect distance we want, about 18 inches. I'm gonna recover that projectile and see what it looks like. And there she sits. It looks like a UFO, like spacecraft from the 50s. That thing just violently opens up because of that scallop semi-jacket. I mean, look at that. Just complete mushroom on impact, peeled back. That's a devastating round, guys, because it's going so effing fast. Now, granted, this is a four inch barrel, so I get a little bit more velocity out of that round than you might out of a three. But even out of a three inch, I think I cronied it before. It's still going 1390, 1400, something like that. Wicked round, guys, and that's that Remington green and white box semi jacketed hollow point 357 Magnum. Love it. That's my carry round. That's it. Now, in the winter time, I might switch to a Hydra Shock. Um, if I'm going into bear country, I might switch to a Hydra Shock. I want a little bit more weight, but the 125 grain, there's something magical about it with, with the 357. And I'll tell you, semi automatic calibers try to mimic this same exact round everything you see out of a 10 mil a 357 sig nine millimeter like all these other rounds try to mimic it the 357 magnum 125 grain this is it this is this is where the buck stops with handgun calibers so can't say enough good things about it always find a good gun to shoot it out of and you're you're set Thanks, guys. Keep training.